Hi, welcome back to Comic Book Gallery. I'm your host, Joaquin. How we doing, people? So today's video is about a few books that I bought off of eBay. So instead of taking like 15 to 20 bucks that I'd normally buy on new books, I went and picked up, picked up some books, some random books off of eBay to see, you know, what's interesting to read and maybe add to my collection. So I've already opened this just to check on the quality of the books and make sure everything. So instead of just having an opening and doing all that. But I do like how the way this person had packed it. All these books were taped on the inside and they were in between these cardboard, which is nice. Don't want to see the address. Oh, no. As you can see here, I am filming in a classroom setting in the library study room. So I want to get this recording done before uh, it's time for me to go. But the first book up is uh, Captain Marvel. And this is um, number 12, The Moment of the Manslayer. And I really do like this art. This is also first appearance of the Manslayer. I picked up this book because it's the first appearance, but I really picked it up just because I enjoyed the artwork. And it's got like really like just classic poses. And you don't really see that that often nowadays. So, you know, 12 cents book. So I paid roughly $20 plus shipping. No, $20 with shipping, and shipping was like six something. So on average, I paid four to five dollars. So like twenty-one, maybe like twenty-one. I think I paid in total for all this. So eh, not bad. Next up is Grew the Wanderer. So for those of you who've been watching my channel for a while, this is actually a pretty funny book, Grew the Wanderer. And as you can see right here, he thinks he's getting the better of them. Like, they all stop, and he's, you know, putting his hand like, nah, 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 you can't get me. And then there's Quicksand. Good old Gru. So I couldn't pass this up. This is actually in pretty good condition. And one of the other series that I'm collecting right now, besides my goal of the X-Men, is I'm also collecting Gru. I've always thought they were funny comic books. So if you have kids, especially under the age of, like, 10 to 12 should really find this funny. I mean, I got introduced to Gru when I was a teenager and I first started collecting comic books and I thought it was pretty funny. And the last book that doesn't have that much relevance to it, but I bought because I really did enjoy the cover, is Wonder Woman 95. So I don't like her outfit. You know, it's not her classic outfit. And, but you have Cheetah Ivory, and I forget who this character is, but I thought this was a cool cover, so I had to pick this up. And what I like about buying random books, right? You buy a random book, you have a sense of who the main characters are. If it's, you know, if it makes you want to um, keep reading the other books, and this book actually did. So, um... I picked this up and I'm like, whoa, Poison Claws and Death Part 2. And they have Wonder Woman and she's chained up and they're eating pizza and they're discussing what they want to do with her. Meanwhile, uh, Artemis is, I think that's Artemis. She's, wherever she's at, she's just in the city and... She's talking to these women and, and to her about her child. And says, like, um, the premise is, he's like, he hit you. Why did you not strike him back? I, I couldn't. He had killed my babies. My babies would starve. Good. Better they starve than have a mother who is a parasite and a coward. It's like, geez, who let in, who let in the she-wolf of the SS? I was like, dang kind of writing back then and look at that shazam and i'm not going to spoil the whole thing but this pit looking dude you know he comes in and of course artemin has to deal with him so they're fighting you know classic artwork of the uh, what's this the 80s oh 95 yeah Similar to the 80s, but um, this isn't, I should have known, known better when I said pit. So you got these big dudes, big proportions. Um, 
Usually the 90s, they stretched out their legs to make it taller than they are. So proportion-wise, you go from your uh, knee to the beginning of your thigh or starting your leg right here. And that's supposed to represent your chest. But as you can see right here, that would put her chest right here. And that means she'd be even taller. So they stretched out her legs. A little fun fact for perspective. She goes around, you know, they get into a fight. And, of course, she kicks his butt. And then he starts getting a little comeback here because he's, like, super strong. Ooh, look at that advertisement for Gotham Knights, people. It's coming up. She get it. And... Mr. Nice Guy, Hardware 25. I never even heard of that book. So here we go. Bam. They're like, well, Akita, I thought you were going to tell us everything about the book. I'm not because I'm not going to tell you about the rest. Just this little thing. So you have this guy who's like, you can't win. He was right. You damn women have taken everything from us. Wow. Talk about a book that's just replaying itself kind of in this current day and age where you have like a backlash of woke, wokeness. He's like, now you can pay. And so he shoots her, and then the woman's like, no. So she gives her life <laughs> for Artemis. I'm pretty sure that's Artemis. And he's like, didn't want you to think I was a coward. I'm like, what the hell? So you didn't um, fight your husband because you didn't want to get killed or you didn't want your babies to starve. You, you sacrifice your life and you're not worried about your kids. What do you think Artemis is going to take care of your kids? And then from here, you got this other scene where it's like, damn magician. I don't even know who this guy is, but I will leave it at that because the book gets really interesting so much to where I actually want to buy the first part and I want to buy the next book. Um, I want to say these books in general, all of them are like in fine condition, you know, maybe a seven to a seven, five, maybe a pressing. If I'm lucky, if there's no major defects, maybe it's an eight, but, um, still just to add books to your collection that aren't jacked up is always nice. So for me, adding in books like this, that. You know, I paid four or five bucks. It's going to hold four or five bucks. Whereas, you know, these newer books, I'm paying five bucks. And it's going to take a long time before they get up to five, before they get back up to their cover price. And that's the sad thing. But the good thing is I've added three new books to my collection that are pretty cool. And I hope you hit the like and subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Hello. And leave a comment below, you know, what books you're picking up, what you like. Um, do you agree with me on anything that I've said? Do you like Wonder Woman's costume back then? More important, are you a Gru fan, people? Come on now. We gotta give much love to Gru. And we'll leave it at that. Take care.